Hi everyone, today we'll discuss about the mixed model analysis in different parts, uh, in the part 1 and the part 2. But today we only focus on the linear model and also we'll prepare our data for that uh, analysis. And in the second tutorial in the, or in the part 2, we will deal mainly in the linear mixed model using different uh, techniques. So we will create a lot of models and we will compare uh, those models and finally we reach a conclusion to select the best model among the fitted uh, models. So in order to run mixed model, these packages are required to your R software. So you have to incorporate uh, by typing this all packages and submit to our studio. And in order to save uh, our time, I already uh, imported my data. And my data here is composed different location in Juma, Bonga, and uh, Debrazade. And here is a block contains three blocks: the genotype with twelve uh, total of twelve genotype. And here is the response variable is granule. And the trail was conducted within uh, two years. That means in the 2020 and in the 2021. So we will uh, do. Uh, and we will do analysis for this, uh, especially by focusing on the linear model. Let's check uh, the homogeneity or the equality of variance. First, let's see our structure. Yes, our structure is here. It's a character. Uh, uh, gene type is a character. Location is a character. Block is integer, and uh, the year is integer. So this part should be converted into Factor, especially when we just run uh, into live and test, which is helps us to check the homogeneity of variance. So you must convert it, uh, you must convert this into a factor. So uh, type this syntax and submit to your studio. Then live and test, uh, especially uses for testing of homogeneity of variance. So the response variable here is a grain yield, and again here is uh, the location. Uh, with one of the effects that we are going to see. Uh, so our data name is T, so type this and submit to our studio. And don't forget T is our data name here. Then again, we also do for the year. So we have uh, two years, that means 2020 20 and 2021. 20, so in similar fashion, uh, we have to uh, uh, convert, or we have to check the homogeneity of variance by tapping here is location, we have to change this into year and type this and submit to our studio. So according to this result, the probability level or the p-value is highly significant. That means there is no homogeneity of variance. This means that we are not uh, going to use uh, a combined or we are not uh, fitted a model for this combined uh, data. So we should do for individual location and within each year. So we cannot combine the data uh, across the location and across the year because the homogeneity of variance is uh, significant. So when the test becomes significant, that means there is a problem in homogeneity of variance. So let's subset uh, uh, the two years. So in order to do that, you are gonna sign here is the T is our data from that only you have to use Y1 star, uh, standards for year one, but I assign this on my preference so you can give any name that you want. Then T is our data name and here is T our data name. You can attach from that the year and you have to mention uh, the year. So the year is 2020. So type this and submit to our studio. And again, to do for the second run, you have to change here is 2020, you have to change into 2021. So, and I assign here uh, is uh, T from the data year two. So submit this as well. So let's see the dimension of both the separated years. Yes, around 108 uh, observation with five variables. And again, for the year two also 108 uh, as well as five in, in similar way to that of the year one. So uh, furthermore, you can also check the structure by tapping 
str yes str and ty sorry ty1 so you'll get 108 observation and five variables and in similar fashion for the year two also uh, similar then uh, here is uh, as i mentioned before there are three different locations one is uh, Juma, the other is bonga and the third one is uh, DZ that means Debrazate. So I subsetted the, this location that means Debrazate location for our fixed model. In order to do that, you have to assign any name that you want, but I create here is TDZ which standards from the T data that means Debrazate. Uh, then I can assign here is TY1, and from the TY1, I add, I select the location from that particular location. Uh, set that means from Gemma, from the Bonga, as well as from the WZ, I select DZ, so type this and submit to your studio. So let's see my dimension. Yes, which is 36 observation and 5 uh, variable, and let's see the structure as well. It's, it gives the same output, but more or less, uh, more the structure is provide detailed information. So here is a 36 observation with 5 uh, variables. Then I have to convert. Here is a block, and here is the genotype is character. So I have to uh, change into uh, into factor. So in order to do that, TDZ is our new data name that contain the F file with the WZ location. So type this and submit to your studio in order to convert from what they are into factor. Yes, so let's, uh, if you want to check, so type str and tdz. Yes, all our except gen uh, gen grain yield is converted into factor. Then let's create a simple linear model uh, using a fixed factor. So to do that, I assign his, here is a t1, uh, my model is t1, then here is the LM stand for linear model. So grain is the response variable, and here is uh, uh, one plus genotype plus block, then data is T digit. So type this and submit to our studio. So let's see the summary. So it will give you the such uh, summary. And again, we can also see the ANOVA, whether it is significant or not. Quite unfortunate, uh, both the genotype as well as the uh, block are not statistically significant. And if you want to do some uh, broad sense heritability, so in order to calculate heritability is the genetic variance to the total variance. That means total variance will split into again a genetic variance plus replication variance and residual variance. So from we from this we get for the genotype is uh, the variance is this one. So we can write this and divide it by the genotype as well as the block variance here is this and the residual is this. So if we do this and uh, run to our studio, we will get the broad sense heritability. So 32.48 uh, observations are come from the effect of a genotype, but the remaining is uh, maybe from uh, different uh, factors because the the grain yield is affected by a number of uh, uh, several uh, or a number of with similar effects. So uh, heritability is expected to be low. And again, you can also uh, get the CV by typing CV dot model. So T1 is the model that we created here. So T1 suggests all these uh, methods, all these methods. So type this and submit to our studio. Or alternatively, CV is the ratio of standard deviation to the mean, then in the form of percentage. So standard deviation of the grain yield, again, here is uh, the mean of the grain yield. So if you type this, so you will get uh, approximate result with CV dot model function. So we didn't get a significant result, but in case if your data uh, 
is significant, we have to use the mean separation using different methods. The first one is LS means, and here is the model T1, what we created is a linear uh, model. Yes, T1 is uh, equivalent to this syntax, don't forget that. Then um, we can uh, use the genotype uh, as a fixed effect. So type this and submit to our studio. Yes. So let's get the result. So in order to get the result, you have to use the compact letter display, which is built in the multi-com packet. LS here is what you created here, then the letter ABCDF. So if you are signing here, you can get the uh, uh, letters. So all are sharing the same letter. That means there is no statistically significant difference among the genotypes. Oh, Rain is uh, joining our tutorial. And uh, if you want further for the pairwise comparison, you have to type this one. So pair T1, then you have to use the pairs function and write ls here. So type this, we will get the pairwise comparisons. And uh, if you observe the p values, uh, so all are exceeding our limit, our threshold limit, that means 0 0.05. So their uh, main, uh, their pairwise comparison also is not statistically significant. Then uh, the other method is using the least significance difference. So the least significance difference is built in the lsd.test function. So type uh, here is T1 and the group is genotype. <coughs> Sorry, so write this one and run for the least significance difference. Yes, uh, only the genotype uh, JKS90 and uh, C26 is different, but the remaining all other uh, not statistically significant difference because they share the same letter, but comparing to the CC26 and the JKS90 are different, uh, different so they are uh, Statistically different among the two treatments only. Furthermore, you can go, you can also use for the Duncan test. So you have to use this Duncan uh, dot test function. T1 is what we take the model and we write the generator. So type this and uh, submit to our studio. Let's see our Duncan test. The intensity of the rain is increasing. I am also increasing my sound. So even the Duncan test suggests that there is no statistical significant difference among the genotype that, produce, that use the linear model. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email and we will continue the part two, uh, especially using the linear mixed uh, model. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.